Hello guys, Anthony here, and uh, yeah, I got a collection update. I'm sure you guys know what it is, considering the day. But uh, yeah, so Amazon, I pre-ordered on Amazon, and I got $5 off, uh, which is a hell of a deal um, for anybody who has Amazon Prime. Uh, if you reserve it, it's kind of like the Best Buy's Gamers Club. Both of them uh, work wonders. Uh, you save a lot of money. Um, so if you pre-order any game, you save $10 immediately. Um, now, the, that's the difference between the Amazon one is that you have to pre-order it. Best Buy, you, you can just get it for that price at one time. So, give or take, pick what you want. Um, but this is Resident Evil 6. So, there you go. Um, it includes all the DLC. And apparently it is confirmed on both Xbox One and PS4 that it does run in 60 frames 1080p, which is great, considering that these games should be running. If this ran at... 30 frames, like, I would just be so annoyed, like, honestly, because it's like, you want, you know, people are going to be rebuying this game, like myself, and maybe, maybe they're not, maybe they're buying it for the first time, and they want to check it out, it should run in the best of its abilities, you know what I mean, and the PC version of this is great, and this even has the, uh, the PC, like, uh, modes, like, uh, No Mercy, uh, and, and stuff like that, and I think it has the Left 4 Dead 2 DLC, I might be wrong, um, but, you know, I, I guess we'll see. And it's got the 20-year anniversary on here. So let's open this up, and we'll just get the disc, and that's about it, because that's all that there is probably is going to be in here. So you can't really expect much, but, you know, I'll get the Xbox One version as well. So there you go, RE6. So um, I'm working on a review for this, so as I play through this version, I'm just going to record a bunch of footage, because why not? You know, I'm playing through it, so I might as well just get get to it but uh yeah so here you go Resident Evil 6 it's out now on all uh next gen platforms the next one after this is uh Resident Evil 5 but that's in the summer so and it takes up 18 gigs maximum of memory so that's not too bad um so yeah if you want if you have PSN and you want to play Resident Evil with me this is one of the first times I can actually play Resident Evil with some of my fans uh, because all the other ones don't really have online, you know what I mean, like any like kind of mercenaries or uh, versus mode or anything like that. So, um, yeah, add me on PSN, Jill Sandwich nine nine eight eight ninety nine eighty eight. If that's easier, it's all it's on my profile on YouTube. So you can add me. We can play some mercenaries or co op even. So, yeah, if any of you guys want to play, we can do that. So, all right. So, yeah, we're gonna put this. I recently reorganized my collection actually completely um, so I just made it so it's with like each console so PS1 PS2 like all of all like all of Sony all of Nintendo all of Xbox I kind of redid it after doing that collection video um, so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this the N64 version over a bit and we have enough room for our Resident Evil 6 to slide in there and then I'm, I'm probably going to just start installing it to be honest like because I want to start playing it and start recording some stuff but yeah so there you go Resident Evil 6 is in the collection so uh, you can get it digitally as well um, so yeah I, I think it's really cool they did uh, physical copies at least for people um, you know so there you go yeah collection update great see you guys next time